the crazy leg. The crazy leg just starts off with a little walk, learning how to lift your heel and toe at a time. Now, what you will find throughout the country, country is that everybody does it a little different. Some people stay on their toes a lot. What I use is heel and toe. From, from the side of you, you can see exactly what it is that I'm doing. I use the heel and the toe. So as one foot comes forward, the other one is flat. So right now, the right skate, the heel is up and back, and then you alternate that step. Bring the left heel up. Right heel so it's flat, leave that foot flat, bring it forward. And all you do from here is learn how to pick up the momentum. So you pick it up with the beat of the music, which we will get into later. How do you do this with the music? Now, it's more to it than just doing a heel and a toe. Okay? Now, from these combinations, from this particular combination of steps, there are turns, there are slides, so the listing goes on and on. And what I like to do, like a whole lot, is to do turns once I learn how to do this. So here's what I call the basic turn when you're doing, okay, the moonwalk, crazy leg, combination with a turn. So, and I use everything in count. So I want you to learn how to count when you do this. And I'm going to show you from the forward direction and from the back direction so you can see exactly what it is that I'm doing. So it looks something like this. It's left, right, left. Now, as my left foot is forward, I'm going to start making a transition. And what's going to actually cause me or make me do this turn is going to be my left leg, which turns me, turn that hip. As you can see, my right skate is still back, OK? So now I bring my right skate forward, which I don't even count this as a count. It's a step forward, and then I repeat that again. Left, right, left, turn. My right skate is still behind, bring the right skate forward, okay? So that's the basic, that's a basic turn. Just learning how to do the crazy legs with a turn. So it looks something like this when you pick it up. Left, right, left, pivot, step, one, two, three, pivot and step, okay? Now, you notice we started with the left. In a lot of my programs, I always start with the left. But with these particular steps, you're going to learn how to do both sides. So now what we're going to do is alternate that and do it with the right side. Right, left, right. Now, the right leg is going to dominate this turn. Turn, step with the left and repeat everything all over again, you have right, left, right, pivot, and step, okay? So, that's a hot combination if you really, really think about it. This is probably what most people do the whole time that they're doing this. If they don't do it with a turn, they just keep it in a forward direction, okay? But now you get a chance to learn how to do this the way I do, you know? and the way a lot of other people do it, but at least it'll give you a head start and how to take this to the next step. So, it looks something like this when I do both sides. So you have left, right, left, pivot, step, one, two, three, pivot, step. Now I want to get back to the right, so I'm just going to make one more step, and I'm going to start with my right skate. One, two, three, Pivot, step, repeat. One, two, three, pivot and step. Okay? Now, what's really important when you're doing these steps is that everything, your body has to turn as one. But I'm going to show you some real cool things to make this particular step even look more interesting to uh, show off to your friends or whatever. So, Watch what my head does the whole time I'm doing this turn. It looks something like this. Left, right, left. Pivot, step. I'm still looking at the camera. I bring it back, okay? Now, that's a cool little step, okay? So I'm gonna do that one more time. Left, right, left. Pivot, step. My body's turned, but my head is still facing the camera, or you. 
and I bring it right back. Okay? So, that's a hot little step. Okay? Which is a different combination. Because if you noticed before, we went in a circle. Now we're just bringing it back the same direction. So, we're going to take it left, bring it back right. So, it looks something like this left, right, left, pivot, step. I'm going to bring it right back and step and step. And one, two, three. Pivot and step. Bring it back and step, step. So one, two, three. Pivot, step. Pivot, step, step. One, two, three. Pivot, step. Pivot, step. And then what you want to do is just keep repeating that until it becomes a natural step for you to do. Okay? So let's do that one more time.